Mm, hi and welcome to another episode of Mission Control. This channel has existed for almost eight months now and I have learned so much along the way because every time I do a subject I have to study the hows and whys before I can put together a video. My main thing is animation and if I did faulty science my animations would not correlate with reality. The Flat Earth Gang of Fools only present us with empty talk and miserable kitchen table science and pixelated Microsoft Paint drawings. So I have done the work for them and put a book together. Welcome to the holy crap and Flat Earth Encyclopedia. What I find truly amazing is that after six years of so-called research, the fools are still content with not knowing one single fact about the place they inhabit. Maybe it's not important for the average man to know the distance to the sun, but I would argue that it's pretty damn important to know how to navigate in the world you live in. And this is where it becomes ridiculous when all flat earthers use a global model to get around. A long time ago I was a member of a Flat Earth group on Facebook and I sincerely offered to do a Flat Earth model for them. All they had to do was hand me their observations and ideas and I would build the model however they wanted. Never in my life have I met greater resistance and silence, despite I was there to help. The last message I got from the group was to do my own research and that they were not willing to give away their six years of hard-earned knowledge. Most of them pointed me to David Weiss and his Flat Earth Clock app, which is about as useful as spilling your coffee on the keyboard. So here we are, six years of glaring failure. Only the flying spaghetti monster knows how much longer we have to put up with this gang of fools. I believe this was another safe landing for the globe team, so stick around for the next mission. <laughs> 